Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin and today we're doing something a bit different. It's going to be my first ever tablet review. So I've been wanting to uh, get into tablets and uh, like phones for a while now. Um, so this is going to be my first one doing a tablet so uh, go a little easy on me. But uh, let's get straight into it. So this is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S and this is the uh, 10.5 version as uh, some of you more clued on viewers could tell because it's in the uh, landscape mode whereas the 8.4 version is like in a portrait mode so the Samsung logo would be up here and all the buttons would be down the bottom here and obviously there's a difference in the screen size. So let's talk about the exterior first. So you could probably tell this was a Samsung tablet a mile away even if it didn't have uh, the Samsung name written up the top. Uh, it looks pretty standard, it has a metal border like they have on a lot of their devices and the, the grey um, around the outside edge. Um, so it just looks pretty standard, it looks like uh, they've just been quite safe in terms of their design which isn't necessarily a bad thing and I'm not saying this looks bad. Um, but yeah, it's very thin, very light and I think it looks quite good. The back looks like you know, was taken straight off the uh, Galaxy S5, you know, the dotted back on it. Um, but yeah, it feels good. I, I, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just a very safe uh, tablet in terms of design. So there's not much in terms of I.O. We look down the bottom here, we see absolutely nothing. Look around the left hand side, and we all we see up top is a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the top, we just have the power button and the volume rocker. And then on the right hand side, we have the micro SD card slot. And alongside it, we have the uh, micro USB uh, charge and uh, data port. Uh, there's also the infrared port on the very top here as well, uh, which some people might use and for you know changing uh, channels on your TV and things like that. Now let's get through the specs. So the CPU is a uh, well, it's, it's it's a quad core, uh, 1.9 gigahertz Cortex A15 and a quad core 1.3 gigahertz, gigahertz Cortex A7. Now RAM wise, it comes with three gigabytes of RAM, which uh, I think is pretty good when it comes to um, tablets and phones. I think three gigs is, is a nice amount. It's pretty good, especially people that do a lot of multitasking. I think that's a really nice amount. Now, uh, storage options, you can either have uh, 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Then, of course, there's microSD, uh, which goes all the way up to 128 gigabytes. Now, dimensions is 247.3 uh, uh, millimeters uh, by 117.3 millimeters tall uh, by 6.6 .6 millimeters thick. So, very, very thin there. And it's coming in at uh, 465 grams. So not bad at all. Now battery is not removable, but it is a uh, 7,900 milliamp hour battery, which is absolutely massive. Like, Jesus, that's huge. Uh, so yeah, we'll get to battery life a bit later. And uh, OS, uh, it's obviously Android, and it uh, comes with 4.4.2 uh, KitKat. Now I have looked into it. And uh, the upgrade to Android Lollipop, or 5.0, uh, will be coming in quarter one or quarter two in 2015. So it is going to be getting it. Now screen. This is what a lot of people like most about this tablet. So it's a Super AMOLED cap uh, capacitive touchscreen, 16 million colors. Now resolution wise, it's coming in with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. Obviously, 10.5 inch screen, and that gives you a pixel density of 288 ppi. Now, the the screen I thought was uh, fantastic. It's actually probably the best one I've ever seen on a tablet. Um, it's just phenomenal. It's very rich, uh, very vibrant. Uh, yeah, I I thought it was perfect. There's there's not much better I think you can do uh, all that I've seen. On a tablet, it has a contrast ratio of a hundred thousand to one, uh, which might be a bit too much for some people. Um, but overall, I think it'd be very good, um, and yeah, it'd be ideal for somebody who's going to be consuming a lot of media on their tablet, watching a lot of videos, movies, stuff like that. It would be absolutely excellent. 
Now, sound quality was right down the other end of the scale. Now, a lot of you might be saying, you know, well, you're being unfair because, you know, you're used to laptops, desktops, other things that you're usual, usually testing. And obviously, the sound quality on tablets and phones isn't going to be as good. That That is true. But I have um, used a lot of tablets before, so I can still gauge it. And, uh, and a lot of tablets... Um, are also competing with small ultrabooks and things like that. So I do hold them to a little uh, a similar standard, although it would go a bit easier on tablets when it comes to sound quality. But but I honestly just thought this one was average at best. Um, yeah, I was not expecting that much, but yeah, it didn't give you much. So uh, there, there is the, the speakers on either side, which is good, which gives you a bit more, you know, it, at least it's coming from two directions, but it, it just sounded really tinny, just not very full at all. Um, and when I was watching, you know, like YouTube videos uh, with great audio or listening to music, stuff like that, it just constantly made me want to plug in my headphones, which is probably what I'd recommend if you have uh, this tablet. Let's just get a good pair of uh, headphones or earbuds and uh, just use them because they're going to be much better than the speakers. Now, uh, software, as I said before, it comes with 4.4.2 uh, KitKat. Um, with Samsung's TouchWiz interface over the top of it, which, you know, purists will, won't like because they'd rather have stock Android. Um, personally, I don't have a problem with TouchWiz. I actually think it's it's not that bad. Um, it's, you know, it, there's a few things that aren't that good with it, but overall I think it's pretty good um, and not too bad to use. Uh, yeah, the, the, there's a few key things that I didn't like with it. Uh, obviously, something like the uh, settings menu, which is still as horrible as it's always been on, you know, TouchWiz. I mean, it has a search function, which, oh, God, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's not that good. Um, and it comes with plenty of stock uh, applications that, that are quite good. Uh, the fingerprint scan is probably not one of them. Um, it's pretty bipolar. But uh, the, the other ones, like SideSync 3.0, was quite good, which basically allows you to uh, use your, sam uh, use your um, smartphone on the tablet. Uh, so if you had it sitting beside you or something like that, uh, which is quite a cool addition. Um, you could probably play games and stuff like that, although probably nothing that's too intensive or it probably wouldn't work that well. Uh, there's also multiple profiles, which is really good. So if you're going to be using this, uh, or if families are going to be using this, um, that's a good addition there. Otherwise, um, yeah, I, I thought it was uh, pretty good, and, and TouchWiz is pretty straightforward, which is what I like about it, so I think uh, it wasn't too bad. Now, camera, yeah, so it is a tablet. Um, it has a rear-facing 8-megapixel camera. Um, I'll say it'll get you by. If you really need to be taking photos uh, or videos with your tablet, it'll get you by. That's what I'll say, but... I mean, really, you shouldn't be using it for this or buying it for this reason, I should say. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's okay. Some of it came out, the, the photos come out a little bit grainy and stuff like that, um, which probably isn't that good for most people. Uh, so don't take it with you on, you know, a hike or something and expect to take, you know, spectacular photos with it. Um, although it does have a redeeming factor. It can record at 1080p, 30 frames a second, so that's quite good. And it has a uh, 2.1 megapixel front camera, which is going to do you and your Skype calls and everything. It, it'll do you just fine. And uh, selfies, if you really need to take them, will probably come out pretty average. But uh, that's what you're going to expect. But yeah, um, not too much there in terms of camera. So not very good there. Now performance. Now, I personally thought uh, it performed very well. Everything I did with it um, worked very well. I thought it was very good. Uh, multiple tabs, opening apps quickly, playing games, everything. I thought it was just fine with this 1.9 gigahertz quad core. Uh, three gigabytes of RAM, as I said earlier, is a good amount for multitasking and doing lots of things. But um, other people that have tried this um, have said they they thought the performance wasn't that good. So yeah, and and felt like other Samsung tablets, which um, can lag sometimes and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I, I thought. It was kind of hard to, to judge it because, as I said, I'm new to tablet reviews. So I have used quite a few of them, as I said before. Um, but I thought it was pretty good, but then other people said it was only sort of average. So, um, hard to say with this one, but in my opinion, yeah, it seemed fine. I mean, it depends how what you're going to be doing with it and, you know, how much stuff you're going to be doing on it at the same time. Um, but, yeah, so we'll just say that one is kind of like a 50-50 one. 
Now, battery life, this one isn't 50-50. Battery life is absolutely spectacular. It is huge. Uh, and it shouldn't really be that surprising since it has such a massive battery. Now, it should do heavy users uh, an entire day, no problems. And uh, more moderate users will probably get... I mean, it, it all depends on what you're doing. Uh, you might be able to get two days out of it uh, with, with a bit of use. Um, so it's it's definitely going to do students ex incredibly well. That's the main thing that came to mind. And also um, people on the go and travelers, stuff like that. Uh, it will also do really well in terms of battery life. In conclusion, if you want a tablet uh, with incredible battery life and, you know, a fantastic display, then this will do you just fine. I mean, it, it feels really premium as well, and I really did enjoy using it. Although I can't really compare it to anything because I haven't reviewed any other tablets yet, so I'm just going to give you an idea of what I thought it did good and what it didn't do too good. Now, it did have issues such as the sound quality being terrible, which is remedied by just using, you know, headphones or something like that. Uh, also, the camera, which you're probably not going to be using anyways, unless you want to look like a tourist in your own country, or you want to go into super cool mode, then you can use the camera in public. Uh, <laughs> And uh, the performance could probably be improved a little bit, just so uh, everyone thinks it's really good. So I personally thought it was fine, but then yeah, other people have said they, they thought it was a bit lacking. And uh, it, it didn't wouldn't need to be improved that much, uh, just a little bit, and then it would probably, a lot more people would like it. Uh, more, It wouldn't need more RAM, that's for sure. I think it's more just the CPU I'm talking about. Uh, all in all, I think it would just be a great tablet for uh, students, because I've said battery life again. Uh, business professionals, because it seemed to breeze through everything. Uh, travelers as well, and people that want an Android tablet with a really, really good display. You know, people that could be consuming a lot of media, they would really like it as well. Now, I thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.